start with neurosurgeon uh, Dr. Gabe Zada. He's the director of our USC Brain Tumor Center. Uh, our brain tumors, uh, especially malignant tumors, it can have a lasting and, and a life-altering uh, effect on, a, on an individual, uh, and possibly more than any other cancer, I would imagine. Um, so how's the work at the USC Brain Tumor Center changing this? Yeah, well, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a good point you bring up. I mean, you, we, we always try to put ourselves in the, in the role of the, of the patient and family, as you know. And um, I, I always try to imagine what it's like being diagnosed with a brain tumor. It has to be one of the most harrowing uh, experiences and surreal experiences that anyone could have, whether it's benign or malignant. And so we always try to take that position about um, when we're navigating patients and families, we see it as our role to, to guide and advise and treat and shepherd patients through this process. And uh, that really takes a team approach. So um, we're really trying to, to optimize the way that care is performed and, uh, and see patients through that, that uh, entire treatment process, whether it starts with surgery and goes on to radiation or chemotherapy or other lines of, of treatment. We want to make that as easy and worry-free for, for patients as possible. You know, you're taking, like, you know, the spin off that, you're taking personalized medicine kind of to a whole new level. Uh, 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 anything more to share in terms of what the Brain Tumor Center is doing on personalized medicine? Yeah, one of the major avenues we're focusing on is personalized medicine, as you mentioned. And, and what that means is that um, every brain tumor is really different when you look at it. Um, they, they may fall into categories of diagnosis, but as we learn more about cancers and brain tumors, we find that we're able to really look at their signatures, whether it's their genes or selected markers, and we can use those to really identify targeted treatments for patients. Um, but we're trying to go several steps further. Some of the things we're doing for that is uh, when I do an operation for a brain tumor, we collect that tumor directly from that, that person's brain and, 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 and take the tumor, and we put it right into a cell culture medium so that the cells stay alive directly from the mm. OR so that we can then understand what drives this tumor. And then we can do specialized tests to understand the biology and the genes of the tumor and find drugs that can work against those exact cells, whether they're in a culture or lab or we put them in a, in a mouse and then test them. This is the new way that we are approaching uh, treating brain tumors to, to ward off that recurrence and keep patients going for much longer than they ever used to. That's wonderful, wonderful to hear. You know, shifting gears, you know, the treatment options available today at the Brain Tumor Center are, are amazing. I think the modalities of looking at endoscopic procedures, robotic surgery, hyper-targeted radiation, even brain surgery while the patient is awake, you know, the advanced technology available to, to treat brain tumors these days seems to be pretty cutting edge and game changer. Any comments you'd like to make on those therapies? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, we try to get patients through this while really preserving their neurological function and their quality of life. And, uh, and, and it really does take that. We never want to uh, diminish a patient's quality of life. Uh, and so we use every single advantage and, and uh, piece of technology that's available. We sometimes are the ones pioneering new technology and trying it for the first time, whether it's through someone's nose to get to the brain or through a very, very tiny opening in the skull. Um, sometimes we'll do operations um, with a very tiny incision in someone's eyebrow or behind the ear and use cameras and endoscopes and ultimately robotics very soon, I think, which is on the horizon for, for neurological surgery. We have so many new tools emerging all the time that we rely on, and we put them all together with new therapies and an amazing clinical care team uh, to, to provide what I think is the most optimal treatment currently available for brain tumors. All this cutting edge technology and ad advanced research and science um, is, is really amazing. But at the end of the day, isn't it really just about taking care of the patient? I firmly believe that and I try to approach every patient as if they were a family member of mine and I, I try to encourage our team to do that even though they do it naturally already. And sometimes the right answer is no surgery for a patient and, right. and, and sometimes the answer is an operation and, and, and sometimes it's to make sure that, um, uh, that I explain the risks of an operation very well and take them through that. But uh, I always try to think about what it would be like to, to be diagnosed with, uh, with something like that and I see the the, the, the fear and anxiety that the, the patients and families uh, go through. Uh, I took care of an 18-year-old uh, patient who was one week away from going to college uh, a couple weeks ago and, uh, and, and was not able to go away to college with his friends. Um, this is a, a, the pride of his family 
a young student athlete and you can imagine how a diagnosis like that is absolutely life-changing, not just for him, but for everyone around him. Um, and so um, every, every decision we make, every piece of advice, every recommendation um, has to be given with, with that context in mind. That's wonderful. I mean, the, the compassion comes through and, and I can imagine, you know, in many cases that, that care is chopped up. Okay, you see the surgeon and then you gotta wait a week to see the oncologist or the radiation oncologist. And, and with each passing day, the level of anxiety just gets amplified. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of you and your colleagues, the, the collaborative approach that we take and really the, the talent we have in an academic medical center to really um, make all that you just said come to fruition is really, uh, I think, very special. And, and you are very special, Dr. Zada, and you spending the time with me and talking about the wonderful work we're doing in the Brain Tumor Center has been uh, a delight, so thank you. Thank you so much, Rod, appreciate it. Mm -hmm.